Okay, so now you've learned how to write half reactions. The other part of the quiz is um, predicting whether a reaction will occur. And the way that you do that is by um, kind of interpreting this right here. So you need to either write this down or kind of process it, and it helps you to write it down. But um, the oxidizing agent must be above the reducing agent on table B18. Okay, so I'm going to break down exactly what that means. So we talked earlier, like, for example, up here, that um, the thing being oxidized is the thing becoming more positive. That's the element being oxidized. We call that the opposite. We, um, we call it the reducing agent. So the thing being oxidized is the reducing agent. Um, the thing being reduced is the oxidizing agent. Oxidizing agent. Okay, so the oxidizing agent must be above the reducing agent on table B18, which is this table right here. So all we have to do is find them on the data table. Okay, so let's look right here and let's quickly identify which one is being oxidized and which one is being reduced. So we did this one earlier. You can scroll up here and find it. Um, I think it was this one right here. So I'm gonna do it a little bit quicker. Um, the chart here is um, plus two and minus one, zero, plus three, minus one, and zero. And remember, it's minus one because there are two of them. And this is minus one and there are three of them. So there's three sets of M being a minus one charge. So which element is being oxidized? Which one starts off lower and gets a higher positive count? Well, look at the copper here. The copper has a zero here. Um, and then it moves to having copper with a plus three charge, right? So um, is this being oxidized or reduced? It's being oxidized, which makes it the reducing agent. This is the reducing agent because it's being oxidized. You call it the opposite. And then the calcium had a plus two charge here. And then it went to having a charge of zero here. So it was being reduced. So we call that the oxidizing agent. Okay, so in order for this reaction to happen, the oxidizing agent, so calcium, right, must be above copper. Must be above copper on table B18. So we have to go find table B18, and calcium, which is the oxidizing agent, must be above copper. So let's find, um, this is table B18 in your chemistry reference guide. Let's find calcium and copper. So here is calcium right here, okay? And then where is copper? Copper is right here. So calcium is not above copper. So because calcium is not above copper, the reaction will not happen. So because calcium is not above copper, the reaction will not happen. Let's try again, let's try another example here. Um, remember the oxidizing agent must be above the reducing agent. So let's figure out which one is being oxidized and reduced here. So sodium always has a plus one charge. And then OH, um, that is hydroxide. And we can find that on our polyatomic ion sheet right here. Um, hydroxide should be here, look at that, hydroxide right here. So you could look them up individually if you wanted to, but because I am already familiar with hydroxide, I know that it together has a negative one charge. So together, hydroxide has a negative one charge. Hydrogen is by itself, so it's zero. Na is by itself, so it's zero. H2 has a plus one charge, and O has a negative two charge. So which one is being oxidized? Well, hydrogen went from having zero to having um, a plus one charge, right? And then, so this is being oxidized. And so it is the reducing agent, the reducing agent, okay? And then which one is being reduced? Well, the sodium on this side, the two Na, um, had a plus one charge there and it went to having a charge of zero here. So it is being reduced. So it is the oxidizing agent. 
it becomes opposite of what it is. It's the, the, the oxidizing agent is because it came from being, it was reduced. Um, so now let's go up to the guidelines again. The oxidizing agent, okay, so sodium, must be above the reducing agent. So sodium must be above hydrogen on that list. So um, let's go find sodium and hydrogen and see if that's the case. So sodium is an oxidizing agent and it's right here. And then hydrogen is where, let's see, right here. So again, sodium is below hydrogen. I didn't mean to do this by the way, I just made up a couple examples. Um, sodium is below hydrogen. And so this reaction won't happen. So if, because it's a, because it's below it, the reaction won't happen. So I'm writing reaction won't happen. And I'm just abbreviating reaction. Okay. Um, let's try it one last time and that's it. Um, and figure out if the reaction will occur or not. So we have copper by itself, so its charge is zero. Hydrogen and chlorine, when you look them up on the periodic table, it's plus one and minus one. Copper is plus three only because we figured that out by um, figuring out the charge of copper for, of chlorine first. So chlorine has a minus one charge, but there are three sets of them, which makes us realize that it has to have a plus three charge. And then hydrogen here is zero. Okay, so which one is being oxidized? Well, it looks to me like the copper is being oxidized. So I'm gonna write this a little bit uh, quicker. So copper is being oxidized. So um, the copper is the reducing agent because it's being oxidized. And which one is being reduced? Which one is the oxidizing agent? Well, you can tell that H is being reduced because it went from having a charge of plus one to having a charge of zero. So H is being reduced, which makes it the oxidizing agent. And remember that um, based on our rules, the oxidizing agent must be above the reducing agent. So H must be above copper for the reaction to happen. So we gotta go find H, it's actually H2 that we're looking for and then copper. So let's find this again. Um, H must be above copper. So oh, here's H right here. I'm sorry, it's not H2, it's just H. And then copper is up here, it's above it again. So again, this reaction won't happen because this is below it. If we ever had a scenario, which you will have some where something is above it, then the reaction will happen. But again, H right here is below the copper, the copper right here. And so the reaction will not happen. So again here, reaction won't happen. So these examples are taken with just like one or two things tweaked from your quiz. So hopefully this helps you, but if you still need help, join my classroom and I'll make it a lot quicker for you and I'll uh, have you get through that quiz. Have a great day.